became a curse for us. Deuteronomy 21, look at verse number 22. The Bible says, And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be to be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of God, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. Now, that, that parenthetical statement there, he that is hanged is a curse of God. It's not about hanging someone on a tree. Well, the Bible says that Jesus Christ bare our sins on the tree, right? When he was crucified on the cross, he was hanged up on that cross. Jesus was accursed for our sakes. Turn, if you would, to, uh, well, you don't have to turn there. Turn, if you would, to Hebrews 13. Matthew 27, very famous verse, you know, Jesus said, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? When Jesus Christ bare the sins of the whole world in his body, he became accursed. One, he was hanging on a tree. According to God's law, he's accursed by just being crucified like that and being hung on a tree to die. But he also bare the sins of the world, bearing the curse of our sin to where God forsakes him because Jesus became accursed. He was forsaken. He was left. He did all that so that we don't have to be forsaken or accursed because of our sin. Because if we die in our sins, we are accursed. We will be forsaken and cast into a lake of fire. Now, I say that we as a generic term, meaning like all of mankind in general. Obviously, I'm not talking about us as believers in a church because obviously, as a believer... We don't have to worry about being accursed. Because we have promises, like the Bible says in Hebrews 13, verse number 5, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. We will never be forsaken as a believer in Jesus Christ because our sins have been washed away, because we've been purged, because that curse, the accursed sin that we had in our heart, in our life, has been cleansed. It's been taken away. Jesus took that cursed thing, the accursed thing that we have, and he took it on himself, which is why he was accursed, and why he was forsaken, and why his soul went to hell for three days and three nights before rising again from the dead. He took that curse and took it out. And you know what? That curse was burnt. So we see what happens later in the story <coughs> is that the Achan who took the accursed thing, the punishment was that he was to be burnt with fire. That's exactly what they did. The accursed thing was removed and is burnt. 